What's up everybody, Justin here, and while you guys have been asking for me to show you my setup, uh, how I work during the week when I'm on the road, and well, I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, first off, this is a 2000. 18 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X crew cab. So yes, it has the short box. Yes, it does have some challenges, but yes, it works very well. And I'll explain kind of how I do this. Um, so let's get into the cabin area first, kind of show you how I get that organized, and then I'll show you the rest. So first up is we're going to show you the passenger side. This is literally my desk uh, when I'm on the road, my final system, my charging station, um, got my battery pack going. Uh, I'm going to go fishing a little bit. Um, cell phone charging, all my catalogs that I need for work are there. Uh, computer, office supplies are there. Some customer returns strapped um, up and out of the way here. Um, so that's kind of my office, my desk area. So next up is going to be where I house my catalogs, my samples, um, customer returns some more if I have a bunch of them. Uh, and I actually got my, my camera gear, some notepads, um, more returns. So this side just kind of is a catch all in the back seat. Um, just constantly changes, constantly shifts. Um, it's kind of my, my bulk storage area. Coming around to the other back door, uh, I kind of dubbed this my closet. So, um, got a little bit of tackle storage in here. Uh, I got my clothes, I got my, hurt, my shirts that are hanging, laundry bag uh, for dirty clothes. Um, but yeah, so this is my closet. Oh yeah, and this space right here, it's where my tackle bag goes. So when it's, when I'm not getting ready to fish, that's where it's riding when I'm riding. Now, going to the back of the truck, this is actually a very, very critical part of this deal. Uh, this is an ARE CX cap. Um, inside of it, um, full headliner lights. Uh, I got a cargo net in there. We'll hop in there in just one second and I'll show you that. And then also here on the back, so you can see this is the Topper Lift Nomad. Um, it's a heavy waterproof canvas. Um, kick out or slide out sort of deal um, that actually just folds back into the cap when I'm ready to roll big old bug screen on it um, you can strap this up so that it's a little higher um, if it's gonna be a rainy night I definitely would recommend you letting this stay down a little bit that way the water rolls off the end um, doesn't pull up on top here on you but it does make it nice to get in when it's kicked up like that and the mesh that's on here is a no -seum, uh proof netting, so nothing's getting in through that net. On the uh, CX cap, um, I got two slide windows on each side. Um, down the road, if I ever do a different truck, I'm probably going to have one side be a flip up and one have the screen like this. Um, big heavy duty screening. And then here at the cab, um, the window here has a slide on it so I could actually pass things through if I wanted to. Um, but also the window folds down for easy cleaning and also I can get some good airflow. So I'm gonna hop inside here and kind of show you around inside the cab. So first off is we're gonna start with what's on the flanks of the bed here. Um, so over here I have like my catch-all crate kind of like my drunk my junk drawer of the bed um, I got fire starter bug spray broom bungee cords odds and ends some lanterns uh, my fan goes in there when I'm traveling and this cooler here uh, if you watch on Facebook and Instagram you might have seen it it actually mounts right up on top of here and gets bungeed on when I'm on the road and then over here on this side um, guys wide mouth bottle saves you in the middle of the night just pro tip there. Um, so I got some snacks here. Peanut butter lovers. Peanut butter lovers, Reese's. Ooh, yummy. 
Um, and then, but yeah, we got snacks, junk food, okay? And then in this bin, I have some different soups and whatnot. And then there's another bin back here. And this is my uh, one pot uh, for cooking, my one, one, my one cook stove. Um, that looks like this. Uh, but yeah, so that is what's on the flanks of here. Let's hop up in and I'll show you the rest of it. So now that we are inside here, um, I'm gonna show you a couple things. This is a little light that I found. Uh, it came with my old uh, tunnel cover. Um, as I was telling you, this here window will actually flip down like so, which is nice. I'll lock that back in, but then I also have a slide and then I can actually leave this open and I do have a bladder that goes between this so I can make this waterproof and actually have this open all the way. And when, I'm at, when I don't have a lot of bugs and I want a little more ventilation um, because sleeping in a back of a pickup truck, you'll notice a lot of condensation. Um, so it helps to have a lot of airflow, a lot of places for that moisture to escape the cab or the cap uh, when you can. So next up over here, um, I have a quick little shelf because the Nissan has the track system. I use the cleats as a support in the bottom. This just slides in there. Um, that's where my cell phone rests. Um, I'll put a lantern. This is actually a bug zapper lantern from Nebo. Works really good. Battery life could be a little better, but it does zap the heck out of the bug. So it's nice to have on at night. And then I have another one here, uh, which is just for light. Um, it's got an amber light on it, which is kind of nice when you're trying not to blow your eyes out in the middle of the night. Um, but you can also go white with it. Uh, do like a night light, 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 night light, and then a big bright white light, and then a medium. So uh, that's from Rail Railvac. That's actually a really good find. Um, I picked that up at Myers Big Heavy Heavy Duty. Um, you can hook and hang it like so, or you can also hang it from the top. So it's a little awkward filming like this. So up above me here, um, this is a cargo net. When I'm not driving, this does sag, but when I'm driving, I actually can hook this up here. Um, and I just run these small bungee cords up here. It tightens it up. Um, up here, I do have one of my small ultralight rods in it. Uh, so over here on the windows, as you can see, I have that reflective bubble wrap uh, insulation. Um, it doesn't really add any warmth to the, to the truck cap, but what it does do is help keep the heat out from the sun, baking through the windows. It's actually really cool back here um, all day long um, because that sun's just not beating in here. But what I did is I actually attached it with Velcro, attached the Velcro to the framing, put this piece up there, um, pushed this into there, and then took a pair of scissors and cut it the shape of the window so it's nice and neat. And then I have this little piece here, and that's so that I can roll this back, keep fairly good amount of privacy, but also then have the screen open for ventilation on warmer nights like it's gonna to be tonight. Um, over on the other side, I got a cheap uh, two-speed fan. Kind of wish it would rotate, um, but it would in a lot more money. I think it was like 20 bucks at Myers. It has a little clamp on it, clamps on here, and I can run that off of electric, which I have a power cord right here that has two, two USB ports and then three plugs. And then I just run that to a drop cord right here in the corner, and then that plugs in here at the campground. Um, the mattress that I sleep on and I'm sitting on currently is a six inch memory foam tri-fold mattress. So what I've done, um, what I found out by checking the measurements, this bed is 58 inches long with the tailgate closed. And it just so happens that this mattress, you only need to fold up one part of it to get it up and out of the way. Um, so yeah, that works out really good. Um, one more thing on here, um, right here, I made a quick little hatch so I can store you know, different electrical cords and odds and ends and stuff that I might collect that I might see that I, I need to have with me. Um, and then this one on this side is just solid. Um, just what I found um, after the first week 
of just using the bed is that I really liked having something there I can set you know a sweatshirt or extra clothes or extra shoes up out of the way and they don't get lost in amongst all your sleeping bags and all it's, it's nicer and neater that way um, so yeah that's how this all got set up um, now the nomad tent itself I'll show you how it attaches to the cap it literally just velcros into the headliner um, and around the corners and it's in two pieces and there's a small uh, tent pole so that's really all that is it's really quick and simple um, don't have a ton of money wrapped into like the build inside the bed uh, maybe about 100 bucks uh, I got a piece of plywood underneath here with the reflective on it um, just to kind of give a little insulation um, on those really really cold nights uh, the Nomad I think is 350 360 the reflective is not a ton of money so everything else is just kind of whatever you want to make things comfortable but this is how I live work sleep when I'm on the road um, traveling the state of Michigan as a fishing tackle sales rep so living the dream guys um this is probably not ideal for everybody um my next vehicle though it's gonna be bigger and it's gonna be a diesel so i can be a little more stealth like i think but that's a few years down the road so that's it for kind of my camping build um go ahead and leave down uh down in the comments any other suggestions or something you might want to see better on this build or more detail on, let me know down in the comments. Um, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to click down below, hit that red subscribe button, and ding that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. As always, guys, tight lines, happy casting, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. It helps me, it helps the channel, it helps everyone that likes to catch fish.